Hello everyone, it's Desiree here again, talking about another food of the day. And the food of today is the impressive and ginormous fruit called the jackfruit. It's the jack of all fruits because it is huge, it is beautiful, it is sweet. And some people have been saying that this is the answer to errors in the world where people are experiencing food insecurity. This is because it can it can it can grow a tree can grow a fruit up to a hundred pounds. That's how huge a jackfruit is. Now this one I have. And I'm, I'm showing you the length of it like this because I've already cut it in half, you know, in preparation when I'd be struggling with it. It's not very hard to, to cut down. If you start from the top where the stem is, cut the stem out and just, you know, give it a good slice down by standing it up the lengthwise and bring it down, you'll be able to open it up. Right, so this is about the length of this jackfruit that I got. Um, it's half, as I said, but um, I just want to show you um, what the size was or is. Now, the skin or the outer layer here is a little bit crusty. And as you can see, it has um, thousands of little spikes looking things. Um, like a hedgehog, kind of like a hedgehog, right? And how do you how how to tell when the jackfruit is ready to uh, to be eaten and when it's ripened? Um, you press it. You press this one. The spikes will be a little blunt. They won't be as pointed, um, you know, to to the to the to the touch. Also important to know is that it has a little give, and it does give off a, a, a smell, a strong smell. I like the smell. Lots of people think it's really, the aroma is really too strong, but I do like it. This is something that has been part of my life growing up in, on the islands. Um, so it's, it's been a favorite fruit of mine. Now, so the jackfruit then, um, as I said, is, the, is, is a wonderful, huge fruit that can help to solve food hunger, hunger in many areas in the world that are experiencing food shortages, famine, and other kinds of food problems. Now, where did the jackfruit come from? Where did it originate? As far back as um, anyone can remember, uh, it's thought to have originated in India. Um, it, there is um, information that it had been cultivated in India between three to six thousand years ago. Um, it's also available in Southeast Asia, um, so you know those areas. Of course, it's it's available also in the Caribbean, where I grew up in Jamaica. We have. Um, jackfruit trees growing all over the place. I remember um, one of the universities where I taught, they had a number of jackfruit trees on there, always seeing those those um, fruits hanging low. Now, the fruits are, they don't hang from the branches of the tree. They actually hang from the trunk of the tree. Well, I, I think because of the size and the weight, I think this one was about 10 pounds, I think that when I got, um, before I cut it open. Um, I bought it about three days ago, which is about the best um, time that I can keep it since it, you know, it's traveled from somewhere to come here in, in the U.S. and to come here in Ohio. Right, so the, the fruit, the, sorry, the, the, the jackfruit um, can be used for many things. Now, the wood of the jackfruit tree is very, very good for making furniture. Um, way back when they discovered that um, it was used to make a wooden plank that's in India. It's called the Avani Palaka and it's made of wood um, from the jackfruit tree and it was used as a priest's seat during the Hindu ceremonies um, in a place called Kerala. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. 
Um, the name for the jackfruit is thought to have originated also in India and to have, um, you know, been uh, um, approximated to the name that it was called there, which was Chaka Pazam, Chaka, Chaka Pazam. So, of course, you know, uh, Chaka the, would, would equate to um, Jack. So that's how it got its name. And surprise, surprise of all, if you all are, uh, are familiar with the mulberry family of trees, then the jackfruit belongs to that family. You know, I have a mulberry tree in my yard. <laughs> the, the fruits are like psh, really small. So this is amazing that, that it belongs to that same family. All right, so I am going to rest it down. It's already cut open so you may see what it looks like I'll show you what it looks like um, on the inside in a moment uh, many people I know sometimes have seen it in the I've seen it in Kroger supermarket people ask me what are you going to do with this how are you going to use it so we're going to get into that now what can the how can we um, enjoy the jackfruit it can be dried you can dry the the the, the fruit itself the the inside part that you eat it can be dried it can be roasted, it can be added to soups, it can be used in um, the manufacturing of chips, of course, jackfruit chips, and you don't have to add any kind of sweetening to that because, you know, if you dry it or you dehydrate it, it's quite sweet, or it's, it's sweet without being um, dehydrated. Uh, it can be used in jams and juices and even in ice cream. And something that astonished me when I came here to live was that the green jackfruit, um, the unripe one, because what I have here right now is a ripe, is a ripened jackfruit. But I learned that the, we never did, we never used it like that in Jamaica. But I've learned that the green jackfruit can be used to make, um, for some people who don't eat meat, um, what is called pulled pork. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I I tried it once. Maybe I didn't do it right. But um, and maybe because I'm used to the ripe ripened jackfruit and the sweetness of it and having it fresh, I just could not appreciate anything. It said it said that the the the, the texture of the unripened jackfruit or the unripened fruit part of the jackfruit, um, the texture is is mimics the 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 texture of meat and of course. It's, it's best used to make vegan pulled pork. Of course, um, the jury for me is out on that and, and how delicious that can be. Uh, the seeds, so before I move on, I'm going to tr show you. So I did cut it open, as I said, so you can see it. And I'm going to show you another part because I cut this in half and then I cut the half, other half into two pieces. But what I wanted to show you is that I, so I cut it like, I cut it in the, cut it across. After I cut it lengthways, I cut it across. And the easiest way to get what I call the pods out is to bend it like that. You see, when you bend it, then it actually opens up the, the fruit. Now, this part here is not edible. You don't eat it. That, this is a, uh, a light yellow section here like some strings that should not be had um, if you're gonna eat it fresh I don't know about people cooking it or anything because I've never done that but the best part here is this deeper yellow almost orange section it's quite sweet so you pull that from out from the skin so let me pull one of the complete ones so here you have it these are the parts these are the fronds here is not what you're going to eat so you separate it so that it's easier because these are really stuck really hard down on the the the, the, the skin of the jackfruit so you want to as much as you can pull off now the jackfruit you have different textures of the jackfruit some are when they are ripened like how this one is right and some are creamier and smoother and of course some are a little bit um, you know in texture wise not hard but not as creamy and and mushy and I like it when it's not as mushy so here I pulled it from here and this is what I end up with of course I should have said to you 
that before you do open it up like how I did, you're going to find that there is this part in here. And that's what we call the heart, which maybe it comes from the top and it's part of the stem. Just, you know, sort of like how our vertebrae or backbone here extends all the way down to our butt <laughs> section. Sorry. You know, and like in other animals, like in dogs, it, 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 the extension of it is a tail. Well, this, therefore, you have the stem at the top in the mid, uh, you know at the top where you you take it from the tree and it follows this all the way down to here so you would normally just um with my trusty knife you would just cut it out you know it it will take just a little just a little effort not very hard so you cut it out like i'm doing here let me see if i can show you you cut it you just follow it and follow the pattern you go around and then you come back around and yep uh, you be careful so you don't cut yourself um and i'll try to be careful too so i don't cut myself so it's not that hard to come out it's almost done um let me just stand it up so you can see so i've cut it around so all i need to do now is to make sure i dislodge it from the rest of the fruit on the inside here uh, okay I think I should do it from the other end and <laughs> that will make it easier. Let's see if I can do it this way. All right, so just a little patience and there. And you have that. So you will have the fruit that you're going to eat is right here. Yeah, you cut off a little top of it, but that's what you have to do because you need to get this big piece of a heart or a stem out of it. Okay, and, and as I said, Again, this one, this is kind of huge, but you would bend it like that so that the, the fruits are opened up. So I already took this out for you. So here you have, I've cleaned off these fronts. If it comes out with any of the fronts, you just go ahead and clean it off also. So when we were children, we didn't really use any knives or anything to open it. We just use our fingers and break it open like that. So you're going to break it open because this is where the seed is now the seed is covered in some kind of a membrane thing and it's of course attached to the to the part of the flesh or the fleshy fruity section that we're going to eat so you just pull the seed off really easy and you can take the seed out of out of this membrane this membrane will go into my compost and any other part so I do have a little bowl here and I'm, I'm collecting the seeds I'm collecting the seeds so this is how you open it and voila that's all you need to do you can have it like this sometimes um, at home in Jamaica as children we would pull it open and we would make a little um, a li get a little water and put a little salt in it and then we'd put this in there for a few minutes and it gave you a kind of like you know sweet salty taste if 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 you like that kind of thing but it's quite fine to eat it like this it's delicious too and sweet so that is how you would um you would you would deal with it just put it's easy to do some of them of course is um are stainier than others this one is low stain which is what i like but usually um, sometimes you'll get a little stain on your hand and what we would do as children what we learned from from the, the the adults is that we just use a little oil on our hands and that will take this take the stain off when we're done so so that's the part of the fruit that you use that you can get the chips in like asian stores too the dried dehydrated um jackfruit you can get it in cans um, many times however they add sugar and other preservatives to the canned ones so be careful if you don't want to add sugar and too much sugar to your diet um, and i personally i think that the fresh jackfruit is the best of all it's the best if you can get the fresh jackfruit do get that and use it now the seeds as i told you i'm saving the seeds and also this is to um the seeds can be can be cooked can be boiled 
okay the seeds um, can be boiled they can be roasted or they can be ground into flour so I don't know if you have ever seen breadfruit seed flour but that's a that's a gluten-free alternative flour that if you like myself um, have um, problems digesting gluten um, gluten flours you will you will be happy to have something like that to help you with now what I usually do when we were children and growing up we would just you know take the seed put it in a pot and boil it you can just do that add a little salt to the water and boil it and then the seed although it's pretty hard right here um, it's not as hard as a dried thing but it's pretty hard um, it comes it comes to a texture where it's easily back bitten into okay now the, the important thing though that i have done now since i've been an adult is to save myself a lot of work because once you boil the seeds you stick there is this piece of um kind of papery covering on the seed itself that you don't want to eat right can you see that and so before i boil it we used to just put it in the pot and boil it as children but before i boil it now i spend some time and I, I remove this part. You, you're not going to be able to eat this part. You won't digest it. It's like papery, a little thin, um, a little thicker than paper, but papery and dry. And I'm sure you can hear the sound. See how easily, how easily I get it off. If you can't get it off, what I normally do is to use my knife and I will make what you call mark. <laughs> like how we peel um, unripe bananas at home to cook we mark the banana so we you know you're just baking a little slit sort of at the on the top of the seed that will allow the skin to be opened up and there you can use a knife to pull it off there you have it you can use a knife to pull it off or you can use your fingernails to <laughs> lift it up Either way, it's whatever is convenient to you, whatever floats your boat, baby. And there you have it. Um, this, there's also, there's still this brown piece here, um, which is much thinner, more parchment-like. If you want to take that off, that's up to you. I don't ever take it off. I'm not even sure. There might be some kind of um, nutritional um, value to this, but I don't normally take off these this brown section. I just take off the outer papery section of it um, which we cannot eat or digest and there you have um, you know if you want to take the brown thing off you're gonna spend a little bit more time scraping it off because it won't just it, you can't just lift it off like that outer part but there you would have the seed itself um, exposed in every way all right so I, I just normally would boil it with a little salt in it and once it's all cooked up and everything I can have it or I would put it in my soup if I'm making like pumpkin soup I can put it in my soup and again that's you know it's 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 good to to have um the so the, that's this that's for the seed so the seed can be used it can be roasted or boiled you can ground it into flour and yes I did we did um, roast it too we would make up um, fires bonfire type thing not really bonfire not big but um, low fire where we would roast things like our breadfruits which I'm going to introduce to you in another video so we would just um, pop these seeds into the fire and roast them too and eat them they were they were to us delicious you know those were the things that we did um, the trunk as I said can be used for production of um, wood it's it's a highly rot resistant timber that you can get and it's used to make furniture and also to make um, some kinds of musical instrument so there are so many things i mean jackfruit is quite versatile the tree is also useful so the you know as i said this is a great fruit to experience and i would encourage you to you know go out and see if you can get a uh, get one as i said try and get one that where that's where the, the the um when you press it 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 gives you it, it has a little give or if 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 it's not that ripened yet then you can put it down for a day or two 
uh, maybe in a in a paper bag is very good to to give it a little bit you know you get the, it gets the it gets to breathe so it doesn't spoil but it also ripens too but please don't keep it any longer than two to three days after you buy it from the store and I'm saying you do this because um, it's traveled from a far way it's been harvested and packed and 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 and, and transported so it has spent a lot of time off of the tree already so you don't want to keep it too long or you're gonna end up having a rotted or rotting <laughs> jackfruit okay and usually as I said when the when the when this the fruit this the this fruity part here is this nice um, very bright yellow to orange color that's the best time you have some of them if they were picked before they were mature then sometimes it ripens yes but you get um, something more lighter in yellow like this part here and it's not as sweet so you know you gotta know how to pick your jackfruit um, if, you, if you're new to it try to find the smallest one so you can get used to how to handle yourself of course the how what is this though what what is this it's very interesting that this part of the the fruit the fleshy part that you're eating um, is made up of hundreds and thousands of individual flowers that are fused together so of course this is i guess what protects it but this part here um before i had cut it open we're saying that it's made up of thousands of um little flowers that are fused together isn't that something isn't nature beautiful i am always amazed at how um these things how nature how food how food grows how it develops what how you know all of that i am amazed at the wonder of nature not just for food but you know now i'm talking about food so um uh, that's basically what i'm focusing on so it's made up of thousands of individual flowers that are fused together and that's the part we eat the fleshy petals that surround the seeds and of course again as i said showed you the seeds are in there yes so the fleshy petal oops okay i'll take the little membrane here off and the the fleshy petal it surrounds the seed and you can see the seed is in there i've already exposed the seed because i cut the heart out but there you have it. That's the seed right there. You pull the seed out. If you want to pull it out before you pull it, pull the thing off of the thing. Um, the thing off of the thing. If you want to pull the seed out, sometimes I think you should because the seed is a little slippery at the time. And then you'll have much more freedom to pull the, the fleshy fruit out of this delicious, delicious smelling thing. It smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. yep so that is um uh, that is basically some of the things that that um are that i can say about the jackfruit uh if you want to get the jackfruit you can usually find it in um the asian stores indian stores and of course in caribbean and international stores that will sell um so many different kinds of things so um for me i can't quite describe the taste because it doesn't it doesn't it tastes like a mixture of a lot of different kinds of fruit and i i can't put my finger on it but i can tell you what others say it tastes like when they taste it first because i've been tasting it so long maybe i don't know so some people say that the ripened fruit tastes like a mellow mango and I'm assuming that by saying a mellow mango, they mean a mango that has um, really ripened to the perfection there. And I do love mangoes. We have so many varieties of mangoes at home. Oh my God, the tastes and the juice and the flesh. It's great. But anyway, we're not talking about mango now. We're talking about the jackfruit. So some people say it tastes like a mellow mango. Some say it has a peachy pear-like taste. I've heard people say it has a mixture of pineapple-y and apple-y kind of taste. All right. So I go out, get, get you a jackfruit, get you a, one of these things, one of these huge fruits. 
and, 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 and experience it for yourself. And, you know, drop me a line. Let me know what you think about the taste. Is it good? Is it delicious? Is it not what you like? Is it the fruit too big? Um, is, is, is it um, too, is the aroma too strong? I don't mind the aroma, but I do that. Um, some, some other people say that it has a, a taste of a really ripe banana. I don't know. Um, the texture, the, the people have compared it to a chunky applesauce. Um, again, I don't know because to me, it's not that smooth. Well, I shouldn't say smooth. It's not that watery. <laughs> the applesauce to me is much more watery than, than the fruit here. And of course, as I said, there are some varieties of jackfruit that are very creamy when it's ripened it's really creamy 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 um, and soft this one is a little bit harder um, has a more structured texture if you want whatever right so that's what the that that's for the taste and the texture and, and the smell and all of that of the jackfruit and of course nutrition is important and so jackfruit is high in protein, very high in protein, very good source of protein, vegan source, plant-based source of protein, high in potassium again. So the protein will help you with your bones and, 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 and will help you with your muscles and everything. And of course, the potassium is there in regarding your heart and um, helping you with your um, cholesterol, you know, improving your cholesterol. The, your good cholesterol it's also high in vitamin b and guess what 95 calories is all you get in about a half a cup so about a half a cup i would think would be maybe uh maybe one two three four five six pods and these pods are huge so you will be f and it's high in fiber so you'll be f filled up before you know it and it's quite sweet but it's low calorie okay you're not going to get um the glycemic um response that you get from high sugar or refined sugar this is not refined sugar so you're safe uh and then again my disclaimer is i'm not a medical practitioner in any sense this is not meant for any kind of medical advice i'm just giving you for information and helping you all um you know experience new things if you've never had it if you have had it i'm also helping you to go out and have some more <laughs> okay so um it, there's only 95 calories in a half a cup so it's relatively um low in carbs okay and so it's a highly nutritious highly delicious fruit to have um i love me my my jackfruit and i was so happy the day i walked into well the first time i saw it was in kroger i walked into kroger and saw it but they were so huge and i was living by myself it's hard to finish off a jackfruit by yourself unless you eat it 24 7 until it's done or yeah i guess you can freeze it but i don't want to freeze it. fresh fruit now if i can get fresh tropical fruits in columbus ohio i don't want to freeze it i want to eat it right so here it is if you don't want to try the this the, the fresh one i can recommend that, that the dehydrated well not the dehydrated but the freeze dried ones are absolutely delicious so give it a try all right everyone give it a try let me hear from you what you think about the jackfruit all right so you enjoy your day keep healthy keep eating healthy and remember, what do, you, what do you want to remember is remember that there are many tips here for healthy eatings. Okay, so you all have a good day and be blessed. Thank you.